We continue our coverage of Indo-Pacific 2025 in Sydney, Australia. We are now on the booth of uh, Raytheon, meeting with uh, Will Taylor, uh, Customer Account Manager, Weapons at Raytheon Australia, to discuss uh, the RAM launcher and its uh, missile systems. Will, good morning, great to meet you. Good morning to you. I understand it's the first time that uh, Raytheon is showcasing RAM uh, here uh, in Australia, so why this uh, nice looking Half scale model. Uh, the Royal Australian Navy is acquiring or has made a decision to down select Megami frigate as their preferred option for the general purpose frigate program. And that ship comes equipped with the rolling airframe Block 2B missile and the CRAM launcher. So the missile is now entering service or probably entering service with the Royal Australian Navy. So it provides us an opportunity not only to show the, showcase the missile, but showcase the broader system that's available as part of the missile. So what kind of uh, capabilities does the system uh, bring to the end user, to the sailors at sea? Uh, the Mark 49 launcher, which you can see behind me, has a capacity of 21 rounds. It can be reloaded at sea. Um, the missile has a range or a publicly acknowledged range of up to 10 nautical miles so it can engage a target further away from the ship which uh, as part of a layered integrated air and missile defense system provides the ship much more flexibility and greater depth of protection. Um, the launcher is very flexible so if you have for example on a platform two of these launchers you've got a total of 42 missiles uh, in the two launchers. Um, that potentially could liberate up to uh, 10 VLS cells, which you could then use for area air defense or strike weapons or, or other capability. So it provides the ship not only with greater range on its close-in protection, but it also provides it with the opportunity to um, consider different ways in which you load out, strike and other capabilities across the whole of the platform. Indeed, so it brings more magazine depth to the yeah, platform, absolutely. which is quite important. And uh, uh, lastly, uh, well, it's a proven system. Uh, it's been uh, recently deployed in, in the Red Sea. It has many uh, international navies as customer. Uh, can you tell us more about uh, well how it is a proven system? Uh, the system is in use across multiple navies, as you said, and I think 128 different ships. The U.S. Navy is fitting it to their. Uh, latest flight of uh, destroyers that are in build and most of the US Navy's big decks also deploy this system. Uh, the system has been operationally proven and is operationally deployed. Very well, thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome sir.